The three-way summit was all about strengthening a regional partnership, particularly migration, climate change, drugs, and most importantly, the economy. At the top of our shared agenda today is keeping the North America the most competitive, prosperous, and resilient economic region of the world. Now we're working to a future to strengthen our cooperation on supply chains and critical minerals so we can continue to accelerate in our efforts to build the technologies of tomorrow right here in North America. While Mexico's president welcomed his U.S. counterpart to Mexico City, some residents of the capital had other ideas. Monday saw a protest against the Mexican president outside the U.S. embassy in the capital, highlighting the problem of Mexico's worsening violence. He is enemy of the democracy. Now Mexico is in a civil war. We have 120,000 murders in all war. This is a civil war now in Mexico. In the bilateral meeting between Andres Manuel López Obrador and Joe Biden ahead of the trilateral summit, the Mexican president took the opportunity to speak to his U.S. counterpart on behalf of the entire region. Para el bienestar. We want the well-being of all the people of the Americas, with no exceptions. President Biden, you hold the key to substantially open and improve relations between all of the countries of the American continent. U.S. relations across the entire region was a topic López Obrador campaigned on, even taking a stand by missing last year's Summit of the Americas in Los Angeles, because Cuba, Venezuela and Nicaragua were not invited. Biden said U.S. diplomatic efforts extend around the globe. The United States provides more foreign aid than every other country just about combined in the world uh, to uh, not just the hemisphere but around the world. We have multiple foci and so that's what we have to work on and I'm confident we can do a great deal more in tandem with one another. So. The three leaders pledged closer collaboration on trade, security and migration. As Biden put it, we cannot wall ourselves off from shared problems. With the North American Leaders Summit now at an end, what's been discussed here in January may now come to define regional relations for the duration of 2023. Alastair Babastock, CGTN, Mexico City.